Julia's life is in danger. There was a man who was always by her side watching over her, so she had to pretend she was blind so that she could continue living. A month ago, Julia felt her sister was in trouble. She went to her sister when she panicked to find her sister was dead. <laughs> Julia and Sarah are twins with congenital vision impairment. Before Sarah attempted to commit suicide, she suddenly turned around and cursed violently. But there was no one else in the room. Not waiting for Sarah to finish speaking, suddenly the chair under Sarah's feet was kicked by a mysterious person. She died in despair. Autopsy results from the police said that Sarah committed suicide, but Julia could not believe it. Her sister was preparing for her eye surgery. She could not kill herself. The next morning, when Julia was showing her last morning to her sister, suddenly a hand was on her shoulder and comforted her. She thought it was her husband until she saw him standing in front of her. So whose arm is that? Julia turned around in panic, and there was no one behind her. She felt something was wrong. Her intuition is often extremely accurate. She decided to investigate herself. Julia went to the house of Sarah's neighbor, Soledad, who was also a blind woman. She said Sarah has stopped coming to talk to her recently after meeting a new friend at the blind help center. Julia went there to find out. She had overheard a conversation about Sarah. They said that before Sarah died she had a boyfriend, and they used to go to a newly opened hotel for a date. A woman smelled Julia and told her there was a man behind her. She turned around in fear when the figure quickly ran away. Julia hastily chased after that person but he used the flashlights to blind her. She couldn't see his face. When she got home and told that her husband was worried and wanted to take her away, he felt that Julia's mentality was greatly affected by the sudden departure of her sister, so she was overthinking. Julia now quickly used an excuse to go to the hotel for a few days to relax, it is also the hotel that Sarah used to go to with her boyfriend before she died. Her husband happily agreed. Upon arriving, she asked a lot of people about Sarah's boyfriend but received only ambiguous answers. However, she knew that when she arrived at the hotel, there was a bandage in Sarah's eyes, maybe her sister had had a successful surgery, so she definitely could not commit suicide. Sarah took this story to her husband, but he seems to know it all. Before that, the doctor just contacted him and said that Sarah's surgery failed, perhaps she committed suicide because of that. Julia believed it until she met an old janitor, who gave Julia a key, telling her that it was found in Sarah's room. He wasn't sure about the other man either, but for sure he would park his car every time he came here. Now that she came up with it, she firmly asked her husband to take the recorded copies of the surveillance camera, despite his objections. But she waited a long time and still didn't see her husband come out. She went inside and found that the camera system had been destroyed, and the hard drive storing the data was gone. But it doesn't matter now, she was so worried that she couldn't find her husband. She went to the police to report that her husband had been kidnapped by the mysterious man, but she could not describe his exact figure, so she and the police turned to the old man. But unexpectedly, at that time he was found dead in the bath, the scene showed that this was an accident. Even more horrified, Julia's husband was... house. The evening arrived, after Yvonne had left, Julia was alone in the house but she still felt the existence of someone else. Someone took her key away. One evening, the mysterious man was about to inject some drugs into Julia's body but she felt it and got up and ran away. She asked a neighbor named Blasco to help her, and he took her home to rest. Julia discovered that her lost key is there, could it be that the real bad guy is Blasco? Blasco was a bastard, he began to molest Julia, fortunately, Yvonne came to save her in time and brought her back to his house. Now Blasco's daughter appeared. She told Julia that Yvonne was the bad guy and that she stole Julia's key. She used the other key to open the door to Ivan's house. After all, what was the truth? Julia decided to remove her eye patches despite the time remaining was four days. Her eyesight was still not stable, but she could still see this pervert plastered with pictures of herself and Sarah in the room. She panicked to find Blasco's daughter to escape together when she found that she was killed by Yvonne. At this moment, Yvonne stepped forward. She forced herself to calm down and pretended she couldn't see anything. He was also probing her when there were signs that Julia had swapped the quenched water cup. Yvonne was very suspicious. So he took her to a freezer, in which it was the body of the real nurse. Julia panicked. Saw Julia's expression, Yvonne knew she was pretending. He grabbed Julia and yelled at her the reasons why he killed Sarah. He has been despised his entire life, so he always wants people to pay attention to him. He destroyed Sarah's eyes because he wanted her to be with him forever, but Sarah could not stand it. 
That's why he was aiming for Julia now. Fortunately, she was able to run away. She went to Mrs. Soledad's house for help, but Yvonne found them. Julia told Soledad to call 911, but surprisingly, Yvonne now said, Mom, you don't need to do it. It turned out that Yvonne was the son Soledad was hiding. To protect her son, she directly knocked out Julia. Turns out she was just pretending to be blind, nor did Yvonne expect this. So he decided to make his mother truly blind. After that, when Yvonne came to Julia, she had no choice but to accept to be forever by his side. But no, by the time he didn't notice, Julia stole his knife. Because her eyesight was unstable, she missed, hitting only Ivan's leg. But that opportunity was enough to make her escape upstairs to call the police. Then he found her. After a while of struggling, luckily for Julia, the police arrived in time. The flashlights were all aimed at Yvonne, he learned the feeling of being noticed by many people for the first time in his life. He had nothing to lose anymore, under everyone's attention, he ended his own life. Julia was saved, and her eyes were completely recovered. She went to look at her husband's body when she learned that the person who donated her retina was him. Sacrifices make true love, not personal control and desires.